Hello and welcome to Excelibur. In this video, I will show you how you can transport rows into columns and columns into rows in Excel. This is done basically using the transpose function and we have different techniques to do that. So let's see the first and the easiest technique. So for example, you have some data which is in this form. So you have three rows and four columns. Okay, and you want the data in the form that the column should appear like uh, C1, C2, C3, C4 and the rows should come here. So how to do that? Okay, so the first thing what you can do is you can copy the data, select the data and use the copy option. Okay, and then here you can right click on an empty cell and go to paste special and then here you find a lot of options okay so what you have to click on this place special button here and check mark transpose and if you click ok then you see that the columns 1 4 7 10 have turned into rows and similarly the second row has been turned into second column and similarly the third row has been turned into the third column okay so this was the first and the easiest way now let's see the second way for the second way we'll use the transport function so we'll write equals to transpose and then here it asks us to define an array so this is our complete array we select it close the bracket and press enter and then you see that the values here get displayed in the required form now an interesting thing here is that here the values are not linked so if there is a change in the value here let's say for example something it does not get reflected here but here you see that the value is linked and this value gets changed so if you use this normal transport function transpose function the value will be changed as you can see okay so, so this is the way how you can use the transpose function in your excel sheet thank you very much